Here I will go over the ARM model from San Bernardino Valley College for the muscles that you need to know for your practical exam and for the midterm. Okay. So if we look at, if I tilt this, you can get a better orientation. So this here, this is the spine of the scapula. Okay. And just for orientation, if you look at this, this is going to be the clavicle. All right, so it's going to be oriented like so. So it's going to be upside down. So let's get you used to this orientation. <clears throat> so let's start with our rotator cuff muscles. All right, so the first one's kind of hard to see. So, but we know since this is the spine of the scapula, then we know that this muscle here must be the supraspinatus, the supraspinatus muscle. And underneath the spine of the scapula, we must have the infraspinatus, which is going to be this entire region here. I'll just give you some better lighting here. So this entire area here is the infraspinatus, the infraspinatus. This here is going to be the teres minor. And just for completeness sake, this is the teres major. This is the back of the arm. So this is going to be the triceps brachii, the triceps brachii. Triceps brachii, triceps brachii. The biceps brachii. In the top view, okay. This is our deltoid. This is biceps brachii, and this muscle is also biceps brachii. In this view. Biceps brachii, biceps brachii, triceps brachii. Okay, now there's, I like to use these, uh, these little nerves here as a landmark. They're kind of convenient. So when I'm looking at this one here, um, I can follow it around and this will lead me off to this crease, which will lead me up to the pinky. So if I'm looking at the pinky and I'm staying on the posterior side, I'm going to end up right here. This muscle is the extensor carpi ulnaris. Extensor carpi ulnaris. This muscle here, so it extends down from basically the middle fingers, and it's right here. This is the extensor digitorum, extensor digitorum. So it's the extensor of the fingers. Okay, we're gonna move a little bit more towards the thumb side here. In this model, the best view for the brachioradialis is going to be right here. So the brachioradialis <clears throat> is actually easiest to find on this model by looking in this area because it's going to be this nice big fat muscle that is right here, this larger one here. So this is the brachioradialis, and it kind of twists around. So it goes from here and then twists around just a little bit. 
do about there in this model. So let's do that again. And it goes down here. This is the brachioradialis. Okay, radialis because it's on the radial side. So this little muscle right here. So this is the brachioradialis, and this is going to be the pronator teres. The pronator teres. Pronator teres. Okay, now as I turn this around a little bit more, I do have a muscle here as well that is uh, underneath this area, just this pink area here. This is known as the flexor digitorum superficialis. The flexor digitorum superficialis. This lets us wiggle our fingers. Okay. Now, as I turn it around a little bit more, <clears throat> okay, I'm going to get back to this pinky side here. And I'm still a little bit anterior here. So if I look at this pinky and I follow this down, but I'm still on the anterior side. This is kind of like if you were to karate chop somebody. Okay. So if I follow this down, I'm going to get to this nice big muscle here. This is your flexor carpi ulnaris. Flexor carpi ulnaris. Okay. 